That was before Google. That was before the internet. So I had to take the New York Times index and year by year try to locate anything about James Novelli, which was impossible. But then in 1940, I came across a page in the New York Times about his suicide. And at that point, I was able to gather more information and work my way backward onto his beginnings. James Novelli was born in Sulmona, birthplace to the Roman poet Ovidio and to Edmondo Quattroci, a sculptor of his generation, known for having carved some of the monumental work of Frederick McMoney's, using a pointing machine of his own invention. According to Josephine Murphy, Novelli's biographer and archivist, James was five when he arrived in New York. The Novellis first settled on Melbury Street, across Columbus Park, an area notorious for its appalling living conditions, crime, poverty, and disease. Salvatore, as James was known at home, went to the neighborhood school that many of his immigrant classmates attended barefoot. During recess, the girls danced to the tune coming from the barrel organ, while James drew on the sidewalks. <laughs> 